She just really wants to give you a hug and hold on to you forever. To counter her, pick someone like Morgana since her spell shield will make her engages utterly useless. Alistar who can push her away if she decides to engage, and Janna who can blow her away through her easily slow predictable E is also pretty great. Lulu for her polymorph, Karma for all her supportive capabilities, and Zyra for her poke make other good counters as well. Leona's passive makes her abilities mark enemies with a sunlight debuff which will make her allies as damage, trigger it and deal extra damage. Her Q will make her next auto stun the target she strikes, deal bonus damage, and also reset her auto attack timer. Her W grants her bonus armor and magic resistance for 3 seconds and will deal damage around her at the end of those as well as re-grant her these buffs if she hits at least one enemy. Her E will make her deal damage in a skill shot line in front of her as well as make her dash to the enemy champion if she hits it. Finally, her ultimate will make her beam down a huge sunlight ray after a short half a second delay that will stun enemies in the epicenter of it and slow additional enemies hit by their sights by 80%. It also empowers her next auto attacks granting them extra range and damage for a short duration. Really, this might be the stickiest champion in all of League. She'll want to engage with her E, having previously activated her W to deal damage when she starts to get near. This is quite the tell for her, so whenever you see her activate it, stand clear for a while until she misses her E. The only two viable options are either Ignite or Exhaust, and she'll take one of these depending on the matchup. Her early game is insane, but she'll remain useful all throughout the game due to her immense CC she provides any team, as well as tank stats and engage. Level 2 with just her Q and E is something to be scared about, and you can expect her to engage as well as with their level 6, especially if she hits it before you do. Knight's Vow will make her 2v2 trades especially hard, and Zeke's is a game changer whenever she ult engages someone. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, she has no more engage opportunities after missing her E. Her ultimate has a small activation period, which in my opinion, you should really try to avoid even if it costs you a flash, and her W will be her big tail in the lane and in team fights when she's looking for engages. Ultimately, have fun doing it.